Okay, just tell me what you got for those ones. For A, I got the same gradient. Which ones have the same gradient? Um, A and B. So A is Y equals to 3X minus one. And for B, how did you do it for B? Um, they are the same Y and Z. Oh, right. How did you arrange B? Did you? Three Y. Um, I just half to. So you had two Y is equals to. Yeah. So Y must be equal to. So one Y must equal to three X minus two. So you divide each of them by two. Yeah. So Y equals to three X minus two, and for C. Uh, minus one minus two. Y equals to two x. Oh, that's minus right. two. So the ones with the same gradient, A and B, you see they have a common gradient. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep, that's fine. A and B the same gradient. And then one second, let me. And the gradient is three. The gradient is three. So A and B, same gradient. The symbol for gradient is M, so M equals to three. Okay, that gives you part A. For part B, what did you say for part B? Um, they have the same y-intercept. They have the same Y intercept B and C. So they have the same Y intercept. And what's the coordinate yeah. of the Y intercept? Minus two. The coordinate? Of zero minus two. Correct. So zero minus two. They have the same, same Y intercept for part B. We put the code complete. Perfect. But C, which of the following points is the intersection of lines A and C? Um, minus one and minus two. Minus one. There's no minus one and minus two. For C. Look at C's one and minus four. Oh. You see what I mean? Oh, I mean minus one and minus four. Minus one, comma, minus four. Because if you put that in A, let's just check it. If you put that in A, so Y equals to three, times minus one minus one is minus four. If you put that in C, Y equals to two times minus one minus two is equal to minus four. So they have that same coordinate. So that's correct. Fantastic there, uh, Mo.